All right, what's up guys? Um, I'm gonna make a video about reality checks. Now, uh, a reality check is very important to lucid dreaming. Um, and first, by the way, if you're new here, hi. Uh, I've seen a lot of new subscribers lately, so I just wanted to say hello to you guys. Um, anyway, back to the video. Reality checks are a way of testing whether you're awake or whether you're dreaming. Uh, okay, and they're very important if you wanna learn how to control your dreams and uh, generally for being more aware during the day. You know, that's not just for lucid dreaming. They also help you be more aware of, you know, what you're doing, um, because a lot of a lot of our lives, unfortunately, are spent on autopilot, and we don't really think about what we're doing. So, the first reality check I'm going to show you is what's known as the finger palm push. Now, this is probably the most effective one. And uh, by the way, if you're new to all of this, I know this kind of sounds a bit crazy. I know that uh, you know it's very strange to think about, you know because people think, well, I already know whether I'm awake or dreaming, but you don't really, um, otherwise you'd be lucid dreaming, right? Otherwise you'd always be aware that you're dreaming while you're in the dream. So, the finger, <laughs> the finger palm push is uh, a very basic reality check in which you, as the name suggests, push your finger through your palm. Um, but obviously, in real life, your finger won't go through your palm. So the way it looks like is, is like this. You have one hand here, and this this hand, obviously the other one, you try and push your finger through the palm. You really push against it. And what you'll notice is that in, in real life, in reality, um, you'll always feel the same resistance. You know, it's always gonna push back, if you like. You know, it's always gonna feel the same. Uh, you're never gonna be able to get your finger to go through your palm. Um, and the idea is that if you do that enough during the day, if you do that often enough during the day, um, in the dream, right, and this is the idea behind reality checks, in the dream, um, you'll have like an echo of what you've been doing throughout the day. So you'll actually find yourself doing that reality check again when you're already, while you're already dreaming, okay? And normally your, your conscious mind would be asleep during this process, uh, but because you're training yourself through reality checks to be aware of it, um, you actually get yourself right in the middle of that process. So in layman's terms, you wake up, but only your mind wakes up. Uh, the rest of you stays asleep and you obviously remain in the dream. Um, so with the, with this, there's a really important distinction to make, um, and that is just doing the action. So that is, in this case, push, trying to push your finger through your palm, and combining it with the question, which is known as the um, the critical critical awareness or critical question, which is, "Am I dreaming?" Um, and you need to really ask yourself this, like as you're doing the the reality check, the, the finger through the palm. Otherwise, it won't really do anything. You know, you'll just be sort of pushing your finger against your hand, which doesn't really get anything done. So make sure that when you do this, as with any reality check, ask yourself, am I dreaming? Look, look around sort of the environment you're in and ask yourself, is this real? You know, is this normal? Is anything weird going on? Am I feeling okay? Really like pay attention to your awareness and to your senses as you're doing this. Um, and then obviously when you do the action, when you try and push your finger through the palm, really expect it to go through uh, every time you do it. And what will happen is that inevitably when you do this in a dream, it, the finger will go through, you'll ask yourself the question as like a sort of a habit by then, am I dreaming? And you'll conclude, yes, I am dreaming. And at, at that point you become lucid, you wake up in the dream, and you can control it and do pretty much whatever you want. So really with a reality check, all you have to do is do something that you know would only have a certain result in the dream. Do so, Try and do something impossible. Okay, so either trying to push your finger through your hand or trying to pinch your nose and breathe through your nose, trying to, you know, jump up and jump and then float. Um, these, these sorts of things, you know, trying to spin a spinning top and expect it to keep spinning, just like an in inception. Um, anything that is impossible in waking life it is a good reality check, okay? Um, obviously, the more subtle ones are the ones you can do without people noticing, uh, so you don't get, you know, put into a padded room or anything because you're crazy. Um, so the best ones I find are either mental reality checks where you just look around uh, and sort of mentally ask yourself, you know, is any of this weird? Um, is anything incongruent or anything like that? Or you can just do the subtle, trying to push your finger through your palm, pinch your nose and try and breathe through it, those sorts of things. And as long as you ask yourself, you know, am I dreaming while you're doing these three reality checks, um, when they come up in the dream, They'll make you lucid. You, you know, you'll be able to control the dream and you'll be able to have fun. So that's really all you need to know about reality checks since the 2018 because there's a lot of content out there just showing you like the detail behind it and everything like that. 
really all you need to know in order to have lucid dreams with, with reality checks is just ask yourself the critical question, am I dreaming? And whatever the action is, the impossible action, really expect it to happen. Um, and then when it doesn't, you can con conclude that you're awake. When it does, you can conclude that you're lucid. So I hope this has helped, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe.